Zoe Anastasia, and today I'm going to show you how to hem a pair of pants. If you're not already a subscriber to Zoe Anastasia, make sure you hit the subscription and the notification buttons. Hemming pants might seem very daunting and hard to do, but actually it's very easy to do. And after watching this video, you will never have to go to the tailor again to have your pants hemmed. Supplies for this project are very simple. You're going to need some chalk, you're going to need your two inch clear ruler, you're also going to need some matching thread, you very possibly could need a seam ripper, and you're going to need a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors. The first thing you need to do is try on your pants and determine how much shorter you would like to make them. And then go ahead and put a pin in it so that way we know where the new bottom of our hem of our pants is going to be. Now these pants, we're going to make them with no break, which means there are no wrinkles at the bottom. You'll notice that the other pant leg has like those creases or wrinkles like at the ankle. So we want to eliminate those. So we're creating a pant with no break. You can obviously have your pants at any length that you like, which is comfortable for your style, but I'm going to be hemming these here. So I've got my pin right where I need it. So now we can move on to the next step. Now grab your chalk because we're gonna chalk the hem. Now what you wanna do is chalk the very bottom of the hem, just in one spot right below your pin. And now you can take your pin out and turn your pants inside out. So now grab your ruler and measure from the chalk line to the bottom of the pants and see what that is. So this is an inch, which means I need to take off an inch on the hem of these pants. So now what you wanna do is take a note of how much fabric is rolled up on the inside. So there is two inches of fabric here. So I wanna make sure when I'm going to re-sew them again, I have this two inch hem inside. So now grab your seam ripper and we're gonna open up the current hem that's there. So now that we've finished seam ripping, grab your ruler and your chalk, and we are gonna mark the one inch at the bottom. So now we're going to mark the amount we need to take off the hem of our pants. So I'm marking that one inch all the way across. Now that we have it marked, grab your scissors, and we're gonna cut that one inch off. Make sure both of your layers are lined up perfectly so you end up with a nice even hem. There we go. Our pants are now one inch shorter. So remember that two inches that we measured before where it was cuffed up into the inside? Well now we have to re-iron that. So I'm gonna iron up a quarter of an inch and then I'm gonna iron up an inch and three quarters which is totaling my two inches. So let me show you. So we're gonna fold it up a quarter and then we're gonna fold it up an inch and three quarters. And that's what I'm going to need to iron up. So let's head over to the ironing board. But before we go over to the ironing board, make sure you prep the other pant leg the exact same way. Make sure you take that inch off the bottom. So we're gonna fold up a quarter of an inch and iron. We're gonna do this all the way around. Now if you notice your pant legs coming apart a little bit, go ahead and sew that back up on the machine. Okay, now that we have it ironed up a quarter, we're gonna iron it up an inch and three quarters. So I've got my ruler and our hem here is an inch and three quarters. And just go all the way around the pant leg. And now we're going to pin our hem down. We are in the inside of the garment. Today I'm gonna to be using the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic Sewing Machine. So we're gonna to need to put on the D foot, which is the blind hem foot. We're also gonna to need to select the blind hem stitch. And almost all machines have a blind hem stitch on it. Your blind hem stitch is gonna look something like this. 
Now that we have our blind hem foot on and our stitch selected, we're ready to sew. Now what we want to do is take the pant leg that we have hemmed up here with the pins and turn it to the inside. And when we do that, we're going to end up with about a quarter of an inch of the right side of the fabric and then you're gonna have the wrong side of the fabric here. So basically we're turning under and inside that entire inch and three quarters. And we want to end up with this little extra pop of a quarter of an inch because that's where most of our stitching is gonna take place. So the way this stitch works is it's gonna stitch a straight stitch on this quarter inch over here and it's gonna come over to the left and take one thread on the very, very edge. We're gonna wanna line up the wrong side of the fabric here with the inner edge of the D foot where the slit is in here. So notice how it's gonna go straight on the right and then it takes a thread on the left. So straight on the right and then it comes over to the left and it's gonna take a thread. And you wanna make sure it's catching the very, very edge of your pants. If it's taking too much fabric on the left, you're gonna end up with giant vertical lines across the bottom of your pants. And you do not want that. So you want it to literally just take one little thread on the left. And when you finish going all the way around, you can backstitch or use your fix option and then cut. Now you're gonna wanna do that exact same process to the other side and then you're done. So the inside of your pants is gonna look like this. You're gonna see these little mountain shapes on the inside. But when we flip it to the right side, you're just gonna see barely a little speck or a peck into the fabric, depending on how fine your fabric is. And that is a blind hem. We did it, it is looking great. Now you can hem all the pants in your wardrobe. Thanks so much for watching Sewing so Anastasia today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you didn't yet, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you're in Chicago, come take a sewing class with me or I would love to make you a custom garment. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at SewAnastasia and Anastasia Chatska. And I'm also on social media everywhere. So check me out on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and all those other great sites. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.